We are giants compared to an ant. Size being relative though, ants are also giants compared to fairy flies, a tiny little insect that can reach sizes of 0.15 millimeters. But going to the other end of the spectrum, what is the largest living thing on earth that would make us feel like an ant? Hello everyone and a warm welcome to the Simon Dan Show, the place where big science comes in short videos. My name is Simon Dan, thank you very much for joining me. So when I mentioned what this video was all about today, some of you may have said straight out of the gate, blue whale. Now whilst this certainly is the largest animal on earth, it is by no means the largest living thing. In fact, a blue whale is almost 5,000 times smaller than the largest living thing on Earth. Nice try though, try again. Some of the more shrewd of you would have realized straight away that it couldn't have been an animal. So you would have said the Great Barrier Reef, which would have been a solid guess. Whilst it is massive with an area of around 350,000 kilometers squared, the reef is made up of almost 3,000 individual reefs, and the corals are not all a single entity. So unfortunately, we cannot conclude the Great Barrier Reef to be the largest living thing on Earth. There may be some Simon Dan super fans out there who remembered a really old video I did on a Tinfoil Tuesday about the age of the Earth, and in it, I mentioned a tree system called Pando. Made up of quaking aspens, the entire colony of trees is known as Pando, and they can be found in South Central Utah. The individual lifespan of a single tree is around 100 years. However, every single tree in this forest is connected by one single root system. They are all clones of each other, the whole forest being a single entity, and it's thought to be around 80,000 years old. If that was your guess, it would be a clever, but ultimately incorrect one. While still large, at around 0.5 kilometers squared, it's still 17 times smaller than the world's largest living thing. I won't keep it from you any longer. At 8.8 .8 kilometers squared, the world's largest living thing is a fungus. The gargantuan fungus is found in the Malheur National Forest in Oregon and is thought to be more than 2,400 years old. Existing as a network of interjoined fungus filaments, the gargantuan fungus sits right underneath your feet, up to three meters down. Most of the year, you won't even know it's there. But every autumn, the fruit of the fungus, honey mushrooms, show themselves by breaking through to the surface and showing the true extent of its kingdom and the fungus is still growing, getting bigger every year. The gargantuan fungus kills, eats, and infects everything it comes across. Quite impressively, the fungus is devastatingly fiendish, able to absorb chemical markers that would usually alert the tree to its presence. The fungus can effectively sneak up on its victims without detection. To top that off, they've also developed an additional protein which kills cells by eating cellulose, a key component in the plant's cell's walls. As more and more plants were dying, scientists took DNA samples from those infected, and sure enough, they all contained identical DNA. This could only mean one thing, the entire fungus was one single living organism. So what we have here is a parasitic fungus that basically destroys and overcomes any plant life in its path, stopping at nothing as it engulfs more and more of the Pacific US. Now I hear you asking, how long until zombie fungi humans start walking the streets? <laughs> Relax. The gargantuan fungus only eats into about one meter of forest per year. So what do you think? Write a comment and let me know if you find that terrifying or just simply amazing, or both. Also, if you live near them, I'd love to see some pictures. Right, that brings an end to this week's show. I do hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Fascinating stuff. 
Thank you all very much for watching. I'll be seeing you all next week where we'll be taking a look at cosmic rays, literally. Have a good week. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.